Oscar Wilde, A Life by Matthew Sturgis is an exhaustive biography of the renowned Irish writer and dramatist, immersing readers in the life and times of a literary genius who delighted and scandalized late Victorian society with his wit, eloquence, and flamboyant lifestyle. This book meticulously charts the course of Wilde's life, from his birth in Dublin in 1854 to his tragic death in Paris in 1900. Wilde's parents, Sir William Wilde, an accomplished surgeon, and Jane Francesca Elgie, a poet and Irish nationalist, provided him with a rich intellectual upbringing that nourished his talents. His academic brilliance shone brightly at Trinity College, Dublin, and continued at Magdalen College, Oxford, where he garnered first-class honors and won the Newdigate Prize for his poem Ravenna. Upon graduation, Wilde settled in London, quickly establishing himself as a notable esthete, espousing the philosophy that art exists for its beauty alone, without a need for moral or utilitarian justification. His early professional endeavors were varied, as he tried his hand at lecturing, journalism, and editing while publishing a collection of poems that received mixed reviews. Wilde's marriage to Constance Lloyd in 1884 produced two sons and a seemingly conventional family life. Even as Wilde's sexual orientation and affairs with young men were an open secret, the publication of The Picture of Dorian Gray in 1890 marked the emergence of scandal around Wilde's personal life, as the novel's themes of hedonism and duplicity mirrored controversial aspects of Wilde's own experiences. During the early 1890s, Wilde reached the apex of his literary career with a string of successful plays, including Lady Windermere's Fan, A Woman of No Importance, An Ideal Husband, and The Importance of Being Earnest, all of which satirized the mores and hypocrisies of the upper classes and were lauded for their cleverness and linguistic dexterity. However, Wilde's indiscreet affair with Lord Alfred Douglas, the son of the Marquess of Queensbury, would precipitate his downfall. Queensbury, disapproving of their relationship, publicly accused Wilde of being a sodomite. Wilde, urged by Douglas, initiated a libel suit against Queensbury, a decision that would lead to his undoing. The libel trial exposed Wilde's private life, making public his relationships with young men. When the libel case collapsed, Wilde was arrested and prosecuted for gross indecency under Victorian laws that criminalized homosexual acts. After a tumultuous series of trials that captured public attention, Wilde was convicted and sentenced to two years of hard labor. Matthew Sturgis delves into the court proceedings, portraying Wilde's defense of his lifestyle and the shattering impact the scandal had on his family, career, and reputation. Wilde's imprisonment took a toll on his health and spirit, as depicted by Sturgis through harrowing accounts of his time in Pentonville, Wandsworth, and finally Reading Jail. Wilde's writing from prison, particularly De Profundis, a long letter written to Douglas reflecting on his life and suffering, illustrates his intellectual resilience even as he grappled with despair and abandonment. Released from prison in 1897, Wilde was a broken man, financially ruined and socially ostracized. He spent the remaining years of his life in exile in France under the pseudonym Sebastian Melmoth, attempting to revive his writing career but finding little success. Sturgis chronicles Wilde's post-prison life, capturing his diminished spirit and continued struggles with health, finances, and relationship turmoil, notably an unresolved and tormenting connection with Douglas. The narrative of Wilde's life draws to an end as Sturgis recounts the writer's decline and eventual death from meningitis in 1900. Despite his destitute circumstances, Wilde's last years were marked by moments of wit and flashes of his former brilliance. His deathbed conversion to Catholicism, ably set within the broader context of Wilde's spiritual journey, marks a final, curious twist in a life chock full of contradictions. In this biography, Sturgis not only meticulously documents the events of Wilde's life, but also provides a rich tapestry of the social, cultural, and literary landscapes of the time. The book goes into great detail about Wilde's contemporaries, the literary and artistic circles he moved in, and the Victorian era's complex social morals and legal structures that ultimately played a significant role in Wilde's public vilification and downfall. What resonates throughout Oscar Wilde a life is not only Wilde's tragically flawed genius, 
but also his enduring legacy as a writer whose work continues to entertain and provoke thought. Sturgis portrays Wilde's life as both a cautionary tale of the perils of defying social norms and an inspiring story of artistic commitment and personal courage. This comprehensive biography stands as a testament to Wilde's extraordinary talent, his indomitable spirit, and his profound impact on literature and culture. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.